introduction shamila in a few words define an animal yes animals are a major group of mostly multicellular eukaryotic organisms of kingdom animalia or metazoa shamila now tell me what makes animals different from plants yes plants are multicellular terrestrial non mobile photosynthetic and autotrophic while animals are mobile heterotrophic multicellular and aquatic terrestrial or arboreal objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to define what animals are know about various types of animals understand various characteristics of animal kingdom know about various level of organization understand body symmetry understand diploblastic and triploblastic organization know about xylem understand segmentation understand notochord know about various division of animal kingdom understand various characteristics of invertebrates identify different characteristics of porifera understand various characteristics of coelenterata identify different characters of tenophora animal kingdom animal kingdom includes only multicellular eukaryotes whales and giant squids are macroscopic and multicellular animals the important groups represented by the kingdom are protozoa sponges coelenterates worms annelids arthropods mollusks fishes amphibians reptile birds and mammals the body plan of animals eventually becomes fixed as they develop although some undergo a process of metamorphosis later on in their life most animals are motile meaning they can move spontaneously and independently all animals are also heterotrophs meaning they must ingest other organisms for sustenance The animal kingdom is classified on the basis of following features: arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of xylem, pattern of digestive system, pattern of circulatory system, pattern of reproductive system, level of organization. All members of animalia are multicellular all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells examples in sponges the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates that is they exhibit cellular level of organization in coelenterates the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence is called tissue level of organization In platy helminthes tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function it is called organ level of organization in animals like annelids arthropods mollusks echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional systems each system is concerned with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities a complete digestive system has two openings mouth and anus for example the digestive system in platy helminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and is hence called incomplete the circulatory system may be of two types open type 
in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it. Close type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters that is arteries, veins and capillaries. Symmetry Animals are categorized on the basis of their symmetry. They are asymmetrical, radially symmetrical, bilaterally symmetrical. Let us know them one by one. Sponges Sponges are mostly asymmetrical. That is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Colentrates, cytanophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like annelids, arthropods etc. where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry. Diploblastic and triploblastic organization Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals. Example, colentrates. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglia, is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals. Example, platy helminthus to caudates. Silome in classification presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important. The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called silome. Animals possessing silome are called silomate. Example, annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemicordates and caudates. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocelome and the animals possessing them are called pseudocelomates. Example, Ascalaminthus. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates. Example, Platy helminthus. Segmentation. In some animals, the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. In earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomena is known as metamerism. Notochord. Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates. Example, urochordata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. Animals which do not form notochord are called non-chordate. Example, porifera to echinoderms. They obtain food from outside source. They swallow their food and they digest food inside the body. Division of Animal Kingdom The animal kingdom is divided in two major divisions. Invertebrates, vertebrates. Invertebrates, animals that do not have backbone. Vertebrates, animals which have backbone. The animal kingdom is broadly classified based on common fundamental features as given in the image. The animal kingdom is divided into nine phylum. Porifera, Colentrata, Platy Helminthus, Ascalaminthus, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, 
Echinodermata Cardata Invertebrates As we have already said, invertebrates are animals that do not have backbones. An exoskeleton is a hard outer covering that protects an animal's body and gives it support. Insects and some other invertebrates have exoskeletons. 97% of the animal kingdom is made up of invertebrates. Some can be found in ponds, oceans and other water environments. There are six groups of invertebrates. They are Porifera Example, sponges Colentrata Example, snideria Cetanophora Sea walnuts Platyhelminthus Example, flatworms Ascalaminthus Example, roundworms Annelida Example, segmented worms Porifera Porifera means having pores. Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free-swimming, radially symmetrical, sac-like animals. They are mostly asymmetrical animals and generally marine. They look plant-like. They are fixed at one place. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores known as ostia in the body wall into a central cavity, spongocoil, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Coanocyte or collar cells line the spongocoil and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules and spongin fibers. Sexes are hermaphrodite, that is, eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Colentrata The name Snideria is derived from the cnidoblasts or cnidocytes. These cnidoblasts have the stinging capsules or nematocytes present on the tentacles and the body. Cnidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense and for capture of prey. Snidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, hypostome. Some colon traits like corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Snidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form-like hydra, adamsia, etc. Whereas the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those cynodarians which exist in both forms exhibit alteration of generation. Example, metagenesis, that is, polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae form the polyps sexually. For example, oblia. Examples, Physalia, also known as Portuguese man of war. Adamsia, also known as sea anemone. Penetula, also known as sea pen. Gorgonia, also known as sea fan. Mindrina, also known as brain coral. Titanophora Cetanophores, commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies, are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion. 
digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence the property of a living organism to emit light is well marked in cytanophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development example pleurobrachia and cytanoplana did you know h w wilson in 1907 discovered high power of regeneration in sponges robert grant coined the term porifera lucart gave the term colentrata colentrates are commonly called nidarians due to presence nidoblast summary let us summarize what we have learned the basic fundamental features such as level of organization symmetry cell organization coelom segmentation notochord etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class animals or organisms floating on the surface of water are known as plankton besides annelida and arthropoda metamerism is found in chordata on the basis of organization animals are grouped into protozoa and metazoa animals having well marked digestive cavity are included under entrozoa a true coelom is absent in phylum platyhelminthes and nematoda true coelom appeared first in the course of evolution in annelida true coelom is covered by mesoderm the term for body cavity present in triploblastic animals is coelom coelom derived from blastocoel is known as pseudocoelom animal group with pseudocoelom is ascalaminthes coelom is cavity between ectoderm and endoderm that is alimentary canal and body wall enclosed by mesoderm on both sides coelom produced by splitting of mesoderm is schizocoel hemocoel occurs in arthropoda an entrocolomate invertebrate group is echinodermata colomate animal where blastopod develops into anus is deuterostomate radial symmetry occurs in colentrata and echinodermata radial symmetry is often exhibited by animals having benthos or sedentary nature metamerism is characteristic of annelida porifera includes multicellular animals which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated kenocytes sponges are diploblastic and devoid of respiratory excretory circulatory organs and nerve cells canal system is found in sponges a common chamber for all the canals of spongy is paragastric cavity the simplest type of canal system in porifera is ascon type the middle layer in body wall of porifera is called mesoglea classification of porifera is based on spicules the colentrates have tentacles and bear snidoblasts they are mostly aquatic sessile and free floating nematocyst takes part in locomotion offense and defense and capturing of food they are activated by touch poisonous fluid present in nematocyst is hypnotoxin in nematocyst in hydra ejection occurs in response to contact and pierces the prey 